वेलकम वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट इन वन अनदर सेशन माय सेल्फ दर्शना संदीप शिंदे एंड वेलकम इन फार्मास्यूटिक्स फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल सेशन टुडे वी सी द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर ट्वेंटी एट दैट इज कैलामाइन लोशन टू प्रिपेयर द कैलामाइन लोशन टाइटल ऑफ अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट टू प्रिपेयर इवेल्युएट एंड सबमिट टेन एम ऑफ कैलामाइन लोशन आई learning outcomes of our today's session after watching this video students should able to develop intellectual skill to understand the role of protective agents to develop the motor skill skill for triturating and skill for transferring content from motor to container then some new concepts are these are the what are protective agents protective agents these are the substance that prevent the uv rays to reach the skin either by absorbing or by reflecting them then we move towards the theory or introduction to the cosmetics in this cosmetics mean any article intended to be rub pour sprinkle or spray on or introduce into or otherwise applied to the human body there of for cleansing beautifying promoting attractiveness or altering the appearance and include any article intended for use as a component of cosmetics there are number of cosmetic number of cosmetics then we see the classification on the basis of part of organ of the body on which they are to be applied the parts of body on which they are applied an example on the skin creams deodorants lotions powders on hairs braided softeners shampoos shaving preparation hair color conditions on nails manicure preparation like nail polish nail polish remover teeth and for mouth tooth powder toothpaste and in miscellaneous eye preparations insect repellents etc then we see the lotions lotions are the liquid or semi liquid preparation intended for application to the skin surface lotion can be suspensions emulsions or solutions on the application to the skin the water evaporate leaving a residue of the medicament on the skin surface the evaporation causes the cooling and therefore lotion can be applied to acutely inflame areas the cooling effect may be enhanced by the inclusion of the alcohol even though lotion usually applied without friction the insoluble matter should be divided very finely variety of the ingredients is added to the preparation to produce the better dispersion or to improve its cooling smooth smoothing drying or protective properties then main ingredients uh, are in the lotions are antimicrobials preservatives stabilizers thickening agents labeling the label should contain uh, the name and the concentration of the active ingredients for caution application uh, that are intended to be applied to the unbroken skin without friction then for external use only this is the secondary direction and also it have the shake well before use this is also the secondary direction expiry date and storage condition then the containers used for the lotions are wide mouth container screw cap fluted jar colored or colorless according to the preparations then evaluation parameters uh, the lotions can be evaluated on the basis of the appearance color homogeneity odor ph then resuspendability consistency particle size distribution etc then we move towards the actual practical session before going to the step wise procedure in the laboratory we see the apparatus required for our today's experiment these are the two beakers measuring cylinder spatula pipettes water bath and motor and pestle then we see the formulation table formulation table is contain the formula of our preparation which is prescribed in the suitable 
official book. Here is the formula. Calamine. This is the formula required for the 1000 ml. We have to prepare only 10 ml. Uh, calamine 150 gram, zinc oxide 50 gram, bentonite 30 gram, sodium citrate 5 gram, liquefied phenol 5 ml, then glycerin 50 ml, and purified water freshly boiled and cooled sufficient to produce the 1000 ml. Then here is the formula given for the 1000 ml, but we have to prepare only the 10 ml so that we calculate the factor. Factor can be calculated as quantity required upon quantity given. Our quantity required is 10 ml and quantity given is 1000. So our factor is the 0.01. Um, by this factor we multiply the quantity given and we ultimately get the quantity taken. For an example 150 multiplied by 0 0.01 we it get the 0.1 gram. Calamine is uh, used as a protective agent. Zinc oxide is also used as a protective agent. Bentonite is also used as a protective agent. Sodium citrate as a suspending agent, liquidified phenol as a bactericidal agent, glycerin as a thickening agent, and uh, purified water as a vehicle. Then we go through the stepwise procedure. Glycerin is added to promote the adherence to the residual powder left after evaporation of the vehicle on the skin surface. Then, suspending agents such as the bentonite, sodium carboxymethyl cellulose is added to assist the dispersion of the insoluble powder in the lotion. Then calamine and zinc are used as a protectants. Liquid phenol is an add, added as a mild analgesic or soothing agent. Rose water is used as a suitable vehicle and perfu uh, perfume for the lotion for the treatment of an inflamed or sensitive area of the skin. First of all, triturate the calamine, zinc oxide and bentonite with the solution of the sodium citrate in about 700 ml for the 1000 ml of, of the purified water. After that add liquefied phenol, glycerin and sufficient water to produce the 1000 ml. But here we prepared only the 10 ml for that we take the 7 ml of purified water first of all and then add other, uh, all the ingredients and uh, uh, prepare a quantity sufficient to produce the 10 ml. It's, uh, Category is a protective agent and storage. It should be stored in a well closed container in a cool place. Do not freeze it. After that, we move toward the actual practical session in the into the laboratory. Let's go. Welcome, dear students, in our laboratory session. In this session, we see how to prepare the calamine lotion IP. In this session, we prepare the 10 grams of the calamine lotion. We see the chemicals required for our preparations. First of all, we require the calamine, then zinc oxide, sodium citrate, bentonite, liquefied phenol, and glycerin. We have to prepare only the 10 grams. That's why our required quantity that is 1.5 gram of calamine, 0.5 gram of the zinc, zinc oxide, then uh, point, bentonite is 0.3 gram, and uh, sodium citrate is 0.05 gram. And, uh, we have to require uh, liquefied phenol 0.05 ml and glycerin 0.5 ml and purified water QS2. Now start how to prepare the calamine lotion. First, uh, first of all take a modern pencil. In that add required quantity of our calamine. Then zinc oxide. and bentonite and sodium citrate triturate it today we prepare only the 10 ml of our calamine lotion we have to require only the 7 ml of water we already measured the purified water 7 ml add slowly into that graduated see the color of our preparation glycerin is added then first of all we 
add all 7 ml of water and then we add the glycerin into our solution or into our lotion. Here we measure the 0.5 gram of glycerin. We added the glycerin. Glycerin is added to promote the adherence of the residual powder left after the evaporation of the vehicle on the skin. Then bentonite is used as a suspending agent and calamine and zinc oxide are used as a protectant. Then we add the liquefied phenol. Liquefied phenol's quantity is 0.05 ml. Means 1 to 2 drops only. This liquefied phenol is added as a mild analgesic and soothing agent. Here we can use the purified water in a rose flavor uh, to suitable as a suitable vehicle or uh, use the perfumes. Uh, if we use the simple purified water, then we have to add the perfume. But if, if we use the purified water with the rose, there is no need of adding the perfume. Our uh, caramel lotion is ready now. Here we add only the 7 ml of water, then we again add the required quantity of purified water. We add a little bit of water and again triturate it. And finally make up the volume. We finally make up the volume. For that, pour our calamine lotion into the beaker, sorry, into the measuring cylinder. Add little bit of purified water to that. This is our calamine lotion. Then pour this calamine lotion into the transparent suitable. This is our calamine lotion is ready. Our calamine lotion we prepared the 10 ml of calamine lotion only. Uh, it should be stored in a cool place. Do not freeze. Uh, for filling the calamine lotion we use the transparent container. Pour our calamine lotion. Appearance of our caramel lotion is a pink color. Then fragrance is perfume. Though we use the uh, rose water or rose perfume, purified water with the rose flavor, and uh, its pH is about five to eight. Consistency is semi-solid one, and uh, rate of sedimentation is low one. So in this way, our caramel lotion IP is ready now. Then we move towards the label session. Uh, while labeling our preparation, we have to keep in mind that our preparation's label is not too much of big or not small. It should be appropriate of size. It should be um, give the proper appearance of our preparation. Let's move towards the labeling session. After goes through the stepwise procedure into the laboratory, we move towards the observation and evaluation table. Observation and evaluation table is maintained in a such a manner. It contains the name of the preparation, test, specification and observation. Name of our preparation is calamine zinc oxide lotion IP. Test appearance, we see know that and we see in a laboratory appearance of our preparation is pink color free from the grittiness. We confirm that test. Fragrance is perfume. We confirm that test. pH, pH is between 5 to 8. We confirm that test. Consistency of our preparation is semi-liquid. We also confirm that test. Rate of sedimentation is low. We confirm that test. That means all the evaluation tests are confirmed by our preparation and our preparation is evaluated one. Then we next move toward the labeling of the formulation. 
Labeling should be done in a such a manner. First of all, it contains the name of our preparation of the, our preparation at the top of the uh, label, and at the right hand side, it contains the volume of our preparation. Then it contains the concentration and name of the ingredients. Here we mention the each ten ml contained. Here we mention all the ingredients: calamine, zinc oxide, bentonite, sodium citrate, liquid phenol, glycerin, water. All the ingredients should be mentioned. Then category, its category, its protective agent. Then storage condition, it should be stored in a well closed container. Then secondary direction for external use only, and the shake well before use because it has the lotion, it has the um, product is sedimented one. That's it. That's why shake well before use. Then, then, uh, then it contain the other manufacturing details, uh, and at the bottom of uh, of label it contain the name and address of the manufacturer then we move towards the result the result should be maintained as uh, quantity of our preparation should be mentioned first then name of the preparation that is 10 ml of calamine zinc oxide lotion ip submitted in a well closed container with the neat label in this way our result of our preparation can be done then in this way, I finished our experiment, and we move towards the question answer session. First of all, first question is write the ideal qualities of the lotion. Lotions, it is free from the grittiness. It should be free from the uh, free from any foreign particle. It should not be irritant. It should be smooth one. Uh, it should be compatible with the its ingredients should be compatible with the other ingredients then it do not causes the any irritation to the skin these are the ideal qualities of the lotion then second the gives the classification of the liquid dosage forms liquid dosage forms are classified into uh, solutions mixture syrups mouthwashes gargles etc uh, in this way and then uh, transfusion fluids liquids dosage form can be divided then the different defined protective agents which part of the word these are generally used protective agents these are the agents which protect our skin from the ultraviolet rays to damage it uh, generally western side of country or oh, sorry western side of the world is used these protective agents then define sedimentation ratio next question is sedimentation ratio is the ratio between the particle and the liquid at which rate particles are settled down fifth question write the procedure for finding the rate of the sedimentation rate of the sedimentation can be find out first of all we take the beaker in that we take the uh, our lotion or or any kind of the mixture and find out the settling time what time of the uh, required the solid ingredients to settle down in this way and uh, find out the rate of the sedimentation then sixth one write two brand names of the marketed preparation the brand name are first calamine lotion then uh, no, baby uh, calamine lotion first of all is the um, uh, can be obtained by various companies uh, lactocalamine or uh, calamine no these are the different brand names of our this preparation thank you very much for attending this practical session